today I'm going to talk about uh, this uh, spent primer catcher, which this uh, I think everyone with this machine, the Dylan XL650, would be very familiar with this box here. This little box basically catch uh, when you deprime the case, the the spent primer drop into this box. So then when this full, it just empty. Uh, take this out put into the bin. So that little box is uh, come with uh, this, uh, uh, when you buy the, this reloader, it come with it. But uh, every now and then the, the primer just jump out, just uh, go all over the floor. Then I, I didn't like it, so that's why I made a different design to upgrade this kit. So what I did after this is, which is this one. This little catcher is uh, with a box. Basically, you put this exactly same hole, put this into the where this little metal frame goes. You put it back there, the primer drop into this hole, then drop into this slide box. You slide this box out, then you empty it. And this got a clear window at the front, so you can see if this is full, you slide it back. So what I did, I just quickly show you. Um, we'll take this metal frame out there. Just quickly do it. And spare with me for a second. Okay, let's go into here. This back one's a little bit tricky, but it's not that hard to get off. Okay, that's it. That's the, the metal frames off. So that's basically this one holds this original catcher the box, but this is doesn't didn't work very well. So that's the idea come from. So basically, if we use this one, we use the same hole, we put it back there like this. So all the primer goes straight into this box. So the nothing will come out. When you see the primer is full, you take this out, empty, put it back, use again. So this little box roughly holds probably 400 primers. Yeah, when the 400 is almost full, then you, you just take it out. Then, okay, today I'm not going to talk about this. Uh, I'm going to talk about another new idea. Because what's happening is, uh, uh, some one of my uh, customer uh, got the one of these bought from me, and I send it. They they put they install it and they they love it. They they say oh yeah it works very well. Everything works good and then uh, yeah it's lots lots easier, better than before and also it's safer because the the primer doesn't go all over the floor. Uh, but he sent me an email about a a question. He said everything works good. But he was uh, hoping this can contain more primers. We hold lots more. Then I'm start thinking, okay, 400 primers is not enough. Maybe someone just keep reloading. Like every day they load about 1,000 rounds a day. You never know, you know, people, some people they reload a lot a day. So they, when they're doing the reloading, they, they just, you know, don't want to empty this box very often. So we need a, something bigger can hold more, maybe a few thousand primers or maybe even 10,000 primers. Okay, is that possible? Yes. So today I'm going to show you a new design. Okay, first thing I'm thinking, I want to show you this is, a, basically this is the half of the, the catcher. So that's the idea come from. Is this one is basically is the channel run the channel use this uh, plate with uh, the screw holder which you put this channel right here because you've got a uh, one bolt here which is uh, um, fixing this metal slot here there's a case come off drop into the container so you got one bolt right here so what did you use you just use the let me find this little screw i put it somewhere Right here. Okay, it's right here. 
Okay, so that's the screw. When you buy the machine, they come with it. So that's the the bolt. So it's not screw, it's a bolt. Actually fixing this metal plate. So what I'm thinking, we use the same, exactly the same one. We don't drill any hole there. So that's, we make a little channel there. So we fix it. And this curved shape is not going to interfere with this lever. The lever, handle, yeah, you see, it's free. Nothing touching. And there's nothing on the way. And this is fixed there permanently. Then on the top there, we put little tube channel there. That's a two hole there. Also, there's a middle hole we're catching the, all the primers. Deep, uh, when you deep, decapping the, the primer, the primer drop into here. So this one goes into there. Then the, the clear PVC tubing right inside the, the channel. So you see, that's how you put on. So what's happening is when you lift up the, the whole platform, do the deep priming, the prime, actually the, the primer come out here, drop into this channel, then drop to the back there, which is inside your, your strong frame at the back in the middle there. So, yep, so it will never come out from, from everywhere. When you lower it down, basically the whole tool will lower it down, you see that? So this little channel goes inside the, uh, the PVC tube, go inside the channel. So what's happening? I can shoot like this. So this come out, goes back, come out, goes back. So that's the motion there. Yeah, so that's all the primer that will never come out because they just work inside there. This is just half, I cut into half to show how it works. So that's how it works. Go inside, up, down. Then to the end there, because it's a big space in between the, the frame, so you can put anything there to catch the, the primer drop you can, to catch it. You can use a, any box, a, a paper box, a food container, or I found this one. It's like a little glass jar from the kitchen, you know, my wife wife used something and left there. So instead, chuck this out, keep it, put this underneath there. So all the primer just right drop into here. So that means this container, has this little jar, it's going to probably hold how many? 10,000, 10,000 pieces. So, you know, that's it's going to last you for a long time. Then you empty this jar. So I think this is a solution like will suit some people. They don't want to empty the jar, uh, the, the box very often. So that's a solution. Then the final tubing, I'll show you, that's the final products. So that's the finished. What I did is I, I even curved this side as well. So that's me when the primer drop from here into here, then drop down, straight down, then the jar is here. So that's the, the, the primer into the jar straight away. There's no way you can, anything will come out. So let's put on, give it a try. First thing, we, okay, we raise the handle. We put this little tube in first. We use the same screw. Put it back there. Come on, I can't see. Yep, you can see it now. Back there, one. Yeah, the back one is a little bit, but it's easy enough. Okay, so what do you do? Put it back there, tie it up, tie it up, tie it up. Come on, yo, yep, okay, so that stays there. Then we we'll put this on. The last one you can just slide into it. Okay. Use the same screw, put the same bolt put there. I don't know why I always call this screw, but it's actually a bolt. Okay, put a little nut underneath there. Okay, just a hand tight, don't tight 
yet because what we're going to do is we're going to lower down the whole platform we want to see if this goes right into the channel because this we can move forward or backwards a little bit so this we still got you know, space to play with it we lower down we push your hand all the way to the front you see that okay i want to move back a little bit yep we got there okay that's what i wanted and that's exactly so what i'm doing now i'm tight it yes that's good up then uh, got a oh, got a little oh case i don't want the case yet Okay, let's stop the one second. I want to stop this case. Okay, yeah, put the case back there. So that's going up. Yep, it was just still inside there. Nothing, nothing come up. So down, push all the way. That's when you do the new. You put a new primer. You push all the way forward yep it's nothing touching okay that's what we like to be then now you can tie it up ah, need to hold the bottom otherwise never work you know Okay. okay, double check again, maybe I moved, no, right, right there, beautiful, okay, tied it, done, that's it, permanent, fixed, it's, I even did the same color as the original dealer, so it looks like a made for this machine, okay, you see that? The handle not touching, nothing to interference. Down, up, and down. Yep, good. Glass jar, put right underneath there. Put in right here. Okay. Now we can try some. Yep, so we're going up. Okay, one case is in. Up, deep prime. Yep, drop it, got it, second one, drop it, got it, third one, yep, beautiful, and just straight in, you can see right there, yep, drop it, I can hear the sound, beautiful. See that all there so yep how many here one two three four um more than ten anyway okay this jar is going to hold at least probably one thousand two thousand i don't know we'll find out later or if you want you can get a bigger jar you know the big glass jar a big food container down there so it holds lots of them tens of thousands so yeah okay so that's confirmed, works 100%. And uh, yep, looks good too. Yeah, is this a, nothing moves? I've seen some uh, different people made this with the tubing from here all the way down there, but the tubing is uh, outside here with a bit of band. But in that nah, looks terrible. And I think I don't like anything dangling around here. I want something be, to be permanent. 
So I think this is a much better solution because this is nothing moving. This all day, the tube is right inside there. Yeah, it's never come out. So going down, come up, down, up. Yep, okay. Yep, beautiful. Fully working. And I think this is probably better than this. What do you reckon? Just leave me a comment, you know. We can always work together. You know, I like to listen to people. People give me different idea. They also they, they can, you know, we work together, we can make things better. You know, we we are not just uh, making things. We 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 love this machine, you know, we uh, reload ourselves. We I use this machine every day, so I like to get a people's opinion. So if you have any suggestion, just leave me a comment or send me an uh, email. Yep. I'm very happy to get things done and uh, get improved. Okay, hopefully the, that's going to help you to get some ideas as well. Um, yep, that's all for today. Thank you very much.